Well, it is election day for voters in Missouri and for people who live in Kansas City, Missouri. The fate of millions of dollars of new money is at stake. KNBC 9's Andy Alcock is live to explain how city leaders are hoping to get that money from short term rentals. Andy. Right, Chris, according to a recent audit, there are roughly 2,000 short term rentals in Kansas City, including in neighborhoods like this one. The idea is to charge short term rentals the same taxes and fees hotels and motels pay. This rectangular structure with all the reflective pane glass at the corner of 8th and Main is fittingly called the Flash Cube Building. Tyler Shirk showed us an apartment there being used as a short-term rental through Airbnb. Happy to, you know, pay our dues and do our part. We just want to be treated fairly. Kansas City voters will have a say Tuesday on two proposals affecting short-term rentals. The first one would double the occupancy fee from $1.50 to $3 per day. The second would require short-term rentals to pay the 7.5% convention and tourism tax. Hotels and motels already pay it. Lodging should be kind of all held to the same standard in that regard, is, is our feeling. Shirk said if voters approved the measures, the new taxes and fees would be passed on to guests through platforms like Airbnb. He said he's fine with paying them, but points out Kansas City's Convention and Tourism Bureau promotes hotels and motels for their tax money. We'd like that same opportunity with the city's tourism council to you know help us put people in our bids if we're paying taxes as well. Yeah, I think generally short-term rentals are something that folks are okay with, but we've got we've got to get it under control. Now that recent audit we mentioned also found 90% of short-term rentals are not permitted to do business, which means they're not going to be able to collect those new taxes and fees if voters approve them unless they get those permits. However, Shirk also tells us some of his clients have applied for those permits and years later are still waiting to get them. Reporting live in Kansas City, Andy Alcock, KMBC 9 News. Andy, thanks. City Council Member Bunch says he's working on new ordinances to have platforms like Airbnb and Verbo shut down uh, properties in Kansas City, Missouri that don't have proper permits. Voters in more than 30 Missouri cities and counties will decide on an additional 3% sales tax on recreational marijuana. Be sure and read the language on your ballot. Some questions spell out where those marijuana tax dollars will go, like in Kansas City, Missouri, planning to spend those dollars on violence prevention and other programs.